Hey uh, everyone, Meowcity here. We're about to go uh, help Kamiya with a little request. She wants to go investigate something that we found on our little black box. It's coordinates in the middle of nowhere. She believes it's a lost tech base slash armory. So if that proves to be true, that could be a huge payoff. It is about a uh, 26 day travel. Um, so we're going to get some of our mech wires back and some of this stuff repaired, but uh, it's not everything. Because as you can see, we have a laundry list with two of our people being out for 81 days and 95 days. And the work order is going out for 50 days. So uh, we're going to use what we can get. I prioritized some of the mechs to get done what was kind of important, what I thought at least. So let's see what we can do here. Travel to R2 to secure and loot Castle Nautilus. R2 is deep inside Directorate territory, right on the Torian border. We're taking a risk, but Lady Arano is right. The prospect of getting our hands on the SLDF Battle Max is just too juicy to pass up. And we had an event happen on our way to R2. Pirates ambush the Argo. Blaring klaxons interrupt an otherwise quiet morning routine as several fast-moving ships appear, pacing the Argo. Darius broadcasts their hail to the bridge. You're flying through our space, strangers. It's awfully dangerous here. Just awful. Especially for a ragged-looking ship like the Argo, is it? Tell you what, we'll provide you a safe passage. For a price, of course. While you consider your options, Sumeri pipes up, Commander, if you can buy me some time, I could do a rapid fire up of the Leopard. That'll teach him not to mess with us. So we can pay them off. We can stall until the Leopard is ready, since we're liked by the pirates. We can just persuade the pirates that we're just like them. So let's see what happens, because I don't want to pay them off. You say, we've been straight with these criminals in the past. I'll see if we can get a deal. After you drop the names of black market contacts that the company has dealt with in the past, the pirate reluctantly accepts your story. Well, I can see you've been around, and you've caught me in a good mood. Plus, my people are tired. Our holds are full. Next time I find you in my space, though, you'll pay up with interest. Morale increases by one. And we have arrived at R2. Let's, uh, check this out. Grave robbing. <laughs> That's gonna make a great title for this there it is r2 a more foreboding hunk of ice i've never seen you were born in this system were you not mr oliveria yes lady arano i grew up on nasu heights i think that's how you pronounce that one not i apologize one of the orbital hab stations above the planet's surface Nobody makes landfall except for the surface mining teams, and they stay only for month-long shifts. It's too dangerous for permanent habitations. Wow, not a place to live. I remember old folk story that originated with the mining teams. My father shared it with me when I was young. The Lakura, I think it was called? If memory serves, it was about an ill wind that would howl through the canyons, killing engines and scrambling computers. The stuff of nightmares for such an inhospitable world. Yes, Lady Arano, it's a gremlin story, something that the miners can blame when they pass out drunk and with headlights running. The Locura killed my engine. I barely got out alive. Not our proudest achievement as a culture, but apparently it gets around. Are there any real threats down there that we need to worry about? Not unless you get out of your battle mech. I wouldn't recommend that, by the way. Not a great vacation spot. Got it. Let's continue on. House Carosis has provided us with five supply ships to carry whatever we find on the surface. Captain Gregus of the ARS Delphinus will serve as our point of contact for the fleet. After Dr. Maraud's finished interfacing with the castle's computer, she'll pop the doors and we'll run a threat assessment. If everything looks clear, we'll have Sumeri set you down on the ground. Hey guys, I hate to interrupt. But I've got a sensor blip on my screen. It's a dropship. Can't make out what kind. She's heading for this planet's surface. Looks like her point of origin was R2's second moon. That's strange. R2's moons are uninhabited. Is it a directorate ship? 
Still too far out to say, in their current rate of speed, it'll be at least an hour before I can give you a positive ID. Nothing's ever easy, is it? Why is it never easy? Beats me, Commander. But if I ever come up with an answer, I'll be sure to let you know. We can't wait for Farah to open the doors. If we're still in the area when our unexpected guests arrive, we run the risk of leading them right to Castle Nautilus. We're dropping now. I want our mechs on the ground when the doors open. I'll inform Captain Gregus of the change. You can't go down there in person, Kamiya. And certainly not before we are sure it's safe. You're the leader of the Restoration. We can't afford to use you on a salvage operation. It's her call, Lord Madeira, not yours. Thank you. And this isn't just about salvage, Alexander. You know that. My father spent the last half of his life dreaming of the Argo and her secrets. This is one of those secrets, and I will see it through for him and for myself. Now, it will take time and experience to get whatever battle mechs we find in the castle's armory up and running again. Lord Carosa sent us a recovery team, and I want our best mech tech on the ground leading them. That's you, Mr. Viratan. You're riding with me. I guess I'll go warm up their rumble seat. You know, the only other time I've sat in one of those things was on St. Loris, and I got my arm blown clean off for the trouble. <laughs> Oh, is that why he has a mechanical arm? Here's hoping you don't go two for two. I'll be keeping an eye out on you from up here. So, am I bringing... Wow, I'm actually bringing Kamiya. She's gonna bring one of the mechs, so... Behemoth's coming along. That frees up that for me. I refitted the dragon, actually, so this is kind of funny. That's going to be our new sniper for Glitch. As you can see, I've loaded it up. And nothing else got done. Um, so I guess... Verangian is going to go in the blackjack. Actually, no, Dropkick is. She's better. All of her stats are increasingly better. Alright, so this should be interesting, having Kamiya with us. Good luck down there, all. I'll be cruising in the upper atmosphere and monitoring your progress, just in case. Roger that, Miss Meyer. Dr. Murad, have you had any luck connecting with Castle Nautilus's computer? Already on top of it, Lady Arano. The handshake has been established, and I have command line access. Door control is being finicky, though. Work fast, Doc. Riding in this rumble seat is like sitting on a jackhammer in a sauna on the sun. And Lady Arano's piloting is aggressive. Oh god. That sounds like very bad time, Yang. Poor you. Not to worry, though. I think I've found a workaround for the problem. Get walking towards the main doors and I'll have them open by the time you get there. Understood, Doctor. Do whatever you have to do. Lady Arano out. Alright, so I th Lady Kamea must survive, so if she goes down, I think I lose. I'll make it happen. Roger. On the move. Coordinates received. Okay, the standard approach isn't working. I'm inputting a valid ID, but for some reason the door won't budge. I think I found a workaround, though. It'll just... Another moment. Oh, nothing on radar yet. Oh. And I've got it. Okay, hang on a second. I'm going to try something. Dr. Murad, what did you just do? The lights are flickering. My screen is dead. Dr. Murad? Mr. Oliveria? The whole Argo's gone dark. I'm not picking up a drive signature. Whatever Farah just did, it must have knocked out her engines. Worry about it later. Look, those vents, the rock, they're spitting out drones. Be careful of those things. They're armed to the teeth and coming in fast. And there's probably more where they came from. Coordinates received. Oh, jeez. Um... There's one there, too. So there's two there, there's three there. 
And there was one there. Ah, oh, the blackjack will probably be able to take that one out. I'll have her play with her new toy there, and Griffin can take those. Okay. And hopefully that's enough damage control. All right, so. Reading you loud and clear. Commander. One's a medium, one's a medium. All right. She can crush this one. Position confirmed. Putting my weight into it. All right. Was an instant kill. That's good. And she got some aggression out. This one's a heavy, I'm not sure the quite the difference. Mean debuff. What's this? Weak against melee. Shoddy. Alright. So if she fires everything at it. 50, 30, 30. I just don't want her. Yeah, this should be fine. Alright, second one down. Four to go. Yes, I hear you. Confirmed. Heavy, medium, heavy. Thirty. So I'm gonna fire at this one because I think she can melee that one next turn. How did it survive? It's really booking it. It's not good that it's shooting into the back either. Not much armor left in that location. What can I do for you? So Got it. I think the plan is gonna be fire one here, one here, because she got her new toy. So she she's in her new sniper, two AC fives. These things really pack a punch. This will be the third. Two heavy lasers on it. Alright, like I said, I think she can melee this one down. Yep. Behemoth can melee you. My weight into it. Living up to her name again. And working out that anger issue from, you know, last time. Yes, and I'm gonna actually reserve her. For the right move. Just in case. Okay. Going for Kamea, actually. Oof. My mech is losing internal structure. Good to go. And Glitch can melee this, this one. We can't stay out here in the open. If we don't find harder cover, we're gonna get swamped. So what's the plan? You fall back and find an extraction point. I'm getting you the hell out of here. No. We have to push forward to the doors. Our only way out of this is through. Dr. Murat will fix this. Believe it. Lady Arano. She's right, Sumeri. An outpost castle like Nautilus could bring down a dozen leopards, probably at the same time. If you try to extract us, it'll blow you out of the sky. Okay. 
You're right. Stay alive down there. I'll keep trying to get far on the comms. Do that. For now, we've got to get our heads back in the game. Look over there. Castle's activating turrets. Oh, boy. I've got a bandit on my screen. And it gave more drones. That's lovely. So if I'm here, yes I can, okay. I'm not going to screw around with this one. Sixty-seven, alright. Almost the same chance to hit the side. Nope, didn't get it. Oof. Can't take many more hits like that. That's almost not fair that they still get to go and it turn order didn't reset. Reporting structural damage. Armor breach. Internal damage. Yikes. That hit hard. Now they're all just going to kind of rip us apart from different angles. You can see daylight through my armor. All right, so, um, I've already put hurt into that one. So the smart thing to do would be to take this out. Fortunately, she doesn't get blips. Moving to position. I am gonna precision again. Can't do the side that got more hurt. Oh, you're kidding me. Um, gonna go at this turret. Okay, turret down. And one of our things is to destroy these turrets. I can't break him even if I wanted to. But what I can do is get here and start breaking this turret. They've got a sensor lock on me. Oof. Come on, glitch, you can handle this. And now the drones, which I don't think there's too many, hopefully. We know of two. I can't take much more of this. He's gonna actually drive around. He's gonna go for a shot at Kamea, isn't he? Oh no. Just being a weird. Behemoth. On the move. Locked on for physical attack. Vehicle 
Drop kick. Actually, just in case Kamiya doesn't get this turret. Because we're going at the heavy laser here. And that's going to put us at heat. Yeah, okay. 56. That's not going to do what I need it to. Okay. Drone destroyed. Good job, dropkick. Turret down. Two to go. By the hair of your chinny chin chin. You have my attention. Confirmed. Not much left on this laser turret, I think. So we can back off. Fifty six. Seven. Let's save the ammo. Target destroyed. Standing by. Let's get her moving up. Brace. Waiting for orders. And uh just so she's moving and Affirmative. There's ninety off of it. Miss, 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 miss. Okay, I need to be further away. What? Oh, jeez, I'm not doing this fast enough. Confirmed. There's 50 more. Medium and a heavy. Really don't want to have to deal with these things, so. Orders. There's more over there, too. split the fire like this and hope it works. Yep. Stray shots. Not a fan of that. To 
further away just in case we don't bring it down the mediums won't hit me I think it has like two structure left 40 miss yeah see if we can finish this part up here. I know the turret only has two health, so that should be fine. Lady Arano? Lady Arano, do you read me? Darius, thank the gods. Tell me what's going on up there. Doc Maraud must have poked her nose into something she shouldn't have. Everything's going haywire up here. Doc's putting out fires as we speak. Exo, listen to me. You tell Doc Maraud that if she doesn't get those doors open right now, Lady Arano is dead. We all are. I'm well aware of that, Yang. Working on it right now. Just hold out a little longer. I'm working on... Okay, can't use her to melee. That's where I jumped. So we're gonna go here. That's another one down. Makes me wonder if more are gonna pop out. We'll reserve to see if this comes any closer. This is gonna take it out. 67, 30, and we can only do 90. Got it. Yes, Commander. But moving to position. This should. Should being the keyword. Commander. On my way. Acknowledge. There we go. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Oh, jeez. Standing by. Firing on 
This does the trick. Firing everything I've got. There we go. That's a vehicle kill. <laughs> got it. Samire, broadcast this now. On it. Yes, Commander. Broadcast what now? These are a lot of drones. Commander. On the move. the other no oh, other two okay took a hard hit there and just missiles we can do this. Internal structure damage. Identifier code accepted. Automated defenses disengaged. Welcome, Argo. Thank the gods for that. Dr. Murad, I need a status report. What the hell is going on up there? I, uh, used our codebreaker to access a sealed portion of the Nautilus memory core. When I got in, I grabbed up every encrypted file that I could find. I did get the door codes, but I also found something else. What did you let loose on my ship, Doctor? I don't know. Something they were researching there? It's a malicious code of some kind. I think I advertently let out. It out of quarantine. Yeah, and you tripped an alarm while you were at it. Look, the good news is that I got it contained, 90% contained, but it's caused a lot of damage up here. Communications are patchy, main drive system is offline, we're floating dead in space, a lot of superficial damage too. Anyway, I'm working on it, but we could use more hands on deck. Anyone who can follow basic instructions will do. The Argo's enormous ship and that code made an absolute mess. Understood, Sumeri. I need you to fetch our people, any, everyone but me and Yang. Get them back to the Argo and do whatever Dr. Murad tells you to do. Roger that. I'll be there in a moment. Tell the Lance to prepare for extraction. Oh, uh, Lady Arano, what are we doing? What we came here for, we're going inside. I didn't bring us all the way to leave empty-handed. Captain Grigus, are your ship and crew ready? Aye, Lady Arano. The Delphinus is fully loaded and ready to drop. Good. Meet us at the north entrance. And hurry. We don't have much time before unwelcome guests arrive. Affirmative. Recovery team inbound. House Corossus is proud and ready to serve the restoration. Thank you. Ready yourself, Yang. I'm taking us inside. Mission successful. 2.2 million for that. Some minor damage. 
And weapons. I like weapons. Two damage, one stability, or we'll take this one over it. Good stuff. its most decorated mech warriors. On behalf of our allies in the Oregon Directorate, I demand your immediate and unconditional surrender. But I know you won't stand down, Lady Arano. You're the sword of restoration. You have a reputation to uphold. Joy, painting the ice red with your blood. So this episode got a lot longer than I thought it would. It was somewhere around two hours before and an hour and a half after I edited it. So that's why we're on this screen really quick. It's just kind of the ending screen. So I have a scene. Um, I'm breaking it down into two parts. Um, the video you just watched and there's going to be a second video after that has a um, second mission in it that I didn't realize would be a thing so I hope you don't all mind that it's been really fun so far for me playing this I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am if you are enjoying this consider subscribing down below it really does help me out and it doesn't cost you guys a thing we're nearing the tail end of the campaign on Battletech I think that being said um after this, I will probably be playing another tactics and or strategy game. If you have any recommendations or things you want me to play, go ahead and feel free to comment below. I am contemplating playing another career mode on this. Uh, that would be basically a playthrough where there is no storyline other than the flashpoints, which are like little mini storylines, each with their own little thing, and otherwise it's just hopping mission to mission, building up your uh, company. And there is a time limit, and after the time limit you get a score. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's really interested in doing that, but it can be fun. And otherwise, um, there's a few other games I have in mind, so let me know what you think there. And if there's anything else you want to see in this game before I uh, finish up, let me know in the comments as well. Otherwise, um, as always, I wish you all well and have a good one.